Hey Capricorn Collective, I'm going to do a you versus them reading. Um, I want to see what is happening for you guys, what's coming in, what is happening with you guys. I feel like you guys are stuck. I, I'm feeling stuck. Like you guys are waiting on a shift or something to change in a dynamic. Um, Spirit is saying it is a dynamic that you know is on your path, that you know is for you, but there's no movement there. So I want to see what's happening. Show me what's going on for the Capricorn Collective, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. Cross watchers, please reverse the roles as need be. Capricorn is going to be to the left. Their person is going to be to the right. I put the mutual energy in the middle. That death card, Scorpio energy, exactly. This connection between you and this person, Spirit is saying it actually started um, very, very quickly and it ended just as fast. This is, like I said, Scorpio energy. There's a death card here for you. Healing um, is what you're working on with the Aquarius energy being the star card and the two of pentacles. Some of you guys are dealing with some financial issues. Spirit is saying you're trying to balance that out. Um, Spirit is saying that a lot of you um, took your focus off your finances because of this connection with this person. Some of you guys may have been dealing with the situation for months, um, sometime into the latter part of last year, all the way up until now, and it rocked your foundation emotionally. Um, and when this situation ended, it devastated you. And now you're in a place of trying to heal not only emotionally, but your finances as well, um, because you just didn't put as much effort and energy into your finances because this situation was a little devastating. Your person is showing up with the strength card. That's Leo energy. This person is trying to um, tame themselves with the strength card. Um, show me more. The king of wands, you may be dealing with a fire sign in Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. But if you look at this king of wands, it's looking over in your direction. This person is focused on you, but they're being held back in this connection. There's something that is not allowing this person to move just yet. Um, also, the sun card. He, this person does see you as their happiness. You bring a lot of happiness to this person. That's Leo energy. That's a lot of firepower over here on your person's side. This person has a lot of passion for you and they see you as the person that brings them the most joy. Um, they've experienced um, a lot of love. Spirit is saying this person is a king of wands. This person, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy is someone who gets a lot of attention, but no one has captivated their energy or their interest the way that you have. Um, you may have taken a stand with this person and it really just catapulted the way that they felt about you. Um, most times when you take a stand with someone, they become very intimidated and they move forward. But this person is not one that can be intimidated. This person appreciates they appreciate the way that you handled them and the way that you called them out when they were not who they should have been. Because this is a person who typically operates out of integrity. And for some reason, something was going on in their life that caused them to operate a little bit differently, to move differently than what they uh, typically would. And they're truly embarrassed by that. So I think with this um, strength card, the Leo card, this person is trying to figure out um, how they're going to pursue forward with you because with the Leo card, they're holding themselves back. Um, they know that you bring them this happiness, but they feel like something else needs to take place first. Show me the mutual energy between Capricorn and this person. The three of cups. Yeah, this person is going to come in and invite you out. This person wants to celebrate you because they see that you are someone special. Um, also, the uh, ten of cups. You guys are going to make this a long lasting situation between you two. The five of cups. There is going to be some sadness from another party um, that is privy to this connection, meaning this person may be cutting someone else out who's not going to be happy about the fact that they've been cut out of this person's life. Um, as I told you, this person has um, options. They do have suitors, um, but this person only has eyes for you at this point. Um, show me the potential outcome of this situation for Capricorn and this person. Show me the potential outcome for Capricorn and this person. Show me that potential outcome. The um, high priestess, spirit is saying you already know the truth. You knew when you met this person as they knew when they met you that this was going to be a solid, stable connection. Spirit is saying some things are being kept from you, but that is because it is a protection that the high priestess is holding some secrets 
behind the veil that you don't need to know right now because you are not to be involved with what this person is trying to clean up. Um, also, the Ten of Swords, this person is ending a connection um, and this person may have been taken advantage of by someone else. This ending is going to come and it's going to be very, very swift to this person over here with this other party. Two of Cups, it's going to um, be a catalyst to you guys being able to move forward in this connection with the Two of Cups. The Eight of Wands, it, the minute that this situation ends for this person, they're coming in quick, fast, and in a hurry to talk to you about this situation. They are already keeping an eye on you. And at the bottom of the deck, the Ace of Cups, this is going to be a beautiful connection for you and this person. Let me get some oracles because I want to know what you guys should be focusing on um, in the meantime with the numerology guidance oracles let me see what should capricorn be focused on while this is unfolding and i'm hearing july i'll get some time checks here in just a second teaching and learning exactly you both are teaching and learning from each other in this uh connection card number 57 this is a connection that um, is going to be the catalyst to both your um, spiritual growth and financial growth as well as your person. Um, also change, yep, that change is coming because the minute that that 10 of swords hits on this person's side, this person is going to be um, in your inbox, on your text message, dialing your phone, whatever the case may be to take you out because Here's the thing. This is not this person giving up one connection for another. This connection that this person was previously in was already over spirit is saying, and it was just a matter of time before it was cut off permanently. And that's about to happen. Also, happy endings for you guys is on the horizon. And then love. This is a true love connection. Card number 57, card number five, card number 93, and card number six. Um, and then communicate. Spirit is saying it's going to be very important that you guys communicate how you feel, what you need. And if you look at this, the colors of these cards are um, that uh, vibrant colors. And there is a different array of colors, which constitutes balance in this connection with you and this person. Let me get a time check. When can we expect this to come in for Capricorn? I got within three months. Let me get two more as we are all on different timelines. Within three months. What else, Spirit? Refocus and stop waiting for it because Spirit saying it's going to come in. Show me. September for some of you guys, or you may have met this person um, back in September of last year, or September may have been of significance to some of you guys, Spirit is saying, and let go of it all for now, Spirit is saying, it'll come in when it comes in, keep going with the flow of life, because as you continue to focus on you, this is going to unfold itself over on the other side, so continue to focus on you. Continue to work on your finances. You're going to see true abundance there. Let me see. Give me some messages for Capricorn's finances. What do we have for Capricorn's finances? Dragon, beware of self-delusion. So Spirit saying don't be delusional. Uh, make sure that you are being clear in your thoughts and in your actions. Don't... Um, don't be deluded in, in your, in your headspace. Taking a vacation, physical or mental... Uh, candle, you will be shown the way. Spirit is saying they're already in your energy. Unicorn, use your intuition to make beneficial changes. Spirit is saying you already know what changes and the shift in your finances will happen in April. That's next month. Show me more. Well, family wishes come true. So there may be um, a financial abundance that's happening within your family in some type of way. Show me. You guys may be moving to a new home, a new um, location that's much better than where you were. Broken ring, partnering, I mean, excuse me, parting ways in either romance or business. Spirit is saying some of you guys just ended a connection on a very toxic level, or this may be your person who's parting ways, as I stated, nest. And emotional security, loving family is important to you and the person that you're dealing with as well. And then... Dealings or relationships with a man and then spear heartache over what you no longer have. Yeah, this person is going to struggle a little bit over the ending of this connection, but you'll be there to to help them out. Um, forces are working against some of you guys. So keep your energy clear and pay attention to your work 
and romance is in the air. So it looks like things are going to turn around for you guys. And then also flowers. Um, happiness is um, on the horizon for you guys. And a goal-oriented person is coming into your life. Crib, birth, and concept, uh, conception of a new child or un uh, enterprise. So it looks like you guys are going to be able to find love and also finances um, in the month of as we close out March and April. So I say this is a beautiful reading. Some of you guys can feel it. You haven't let go of it. This person hasn't let go of it and it is coming in for you guys. I hope this brings you peace, clarity, and direction. Take care, guys. I love you and I'll see you on the next one.